Hello everyone, this is Pip. And this is Kiki. We're back playing Office Lovers again. Let's see what happens. Yep. More romance with my hero. My hero! It's getting a little bit mushy. Yeah. I think they're gonna be having the sexes soon. <laughs> Maybe. We're only at 27% likability. I don't know if that means we won't. I Get think we're in a sex. little bit friendship mode right now. Well, no. I mean, Kiki is. He does not want to be in friendship mode. <laughs> <laughs> the next day I woke up two hours early to make lunch. I hope this is enough to cheer him up. By the time I got to work, my hero was already there. Shit, this won't work. Crumbled up paper was overflowing from the garbage can beneath the desk. Just how long had it been at it? <laughs> had, he, had it been at it? <laughs> how long had he been at it? Oh, he's a man. <laughs> good morning. Hi, good morning. He glanced at me just briefly before returning to his work at the desk. I could tell that he was frustrated. He probably wasn't satisfied with his designs. Hey, I've got something for you. I handed him a, ba a little bag with a lunchbox inside. Hopefully this would cheer him up a little bit. Oh yeah, you said you would make me lunch today, didn't you? I could see some of the stress disappear off of his face. That yours? They're different colors. He was looking on top of my desk where I had placed my lunchbox bag. Matching designs? It's like we're lovers. It made me blush, but I wish he hadn't been so easy to say it, considering we were at work. I can't believe you actually made this for me. I'm so happy. Well, I, I promised. I think we should say I promised. Yeah. I think so, too. Okay. <laughs> I promised. I woke up extra early and made it from scratch. You did? He sounded genuinely surprised. He must have thought I bought it all from the store. It wouldn't be homemade if all I did was throw together some frozen food now, would it? You're right. I'm impressed. You took all that time to make this for me? He stared ador adoringly at the lunchbox. We can eat it in the meeting room as soon as it's lunchtime. About that. I won't even get a minute to break until after three today what how come his schedule was, uh, was usually not busy at all looks like the project is getting into full gear there's all sorts of things going on now oh well i can make it again tomorrow no it's okay he looked down and spoke in a sad tone all right we gotta take a short break just one second sorry someone is at the door so Kiki will be right back. This is awkward. Hurry. What was wrong? Is it a problem if I make it? I thought he would be ecstatic if I offered to make him lunch. No, it's just, it takes a lot of time, right? Kinda. We'll be busy We'll be really busy now, so I don't want you to waste your time on me. He was trying to be considerate. It was him that I was worried about the most, though. I'd work harder if there was incentive. Make it for me only if the next presentation goes well. Okay, or that, it'll be fine. Mm. I think okay. Yeah, That's probably better. Let's say okay. 
Okay, I'll make it even tastier next time, so look forward to it. Deal, I feel pumped already. That's good. I'll make the best design you've ever seen. Leave this to me. I'll let you handle the marketing side. Got it. I left him to figure things out on his own and walked away. Our product was aimed towards couples. I had to figure out a way to attract customers who didn't typically buy perfume. While I was collecting data, Mihiro was off talking with the others. This just isn't doing it for me. Is this the best you can do? No, I assure you it's not. Let me refine it and I will bring you something that you'll like. We can only give you so much time. If this is the best he can come up with, we'll need to hear what other people have to say. I'll schedule a meeting. Okay, I'm sorry. Mihiro's hung his head low. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered if they said something that hurt his feelings. Mihiro's hung. <laughs> a few moments later, the bell rang out for lunch. I hoped we'd, we would get a chance to eat together. I reached my hand out to grab my lunchbox. Hmm? You brought a lunch today? Yeah, sometimes I make them for myself. That's nice. Wish you could make one for me, too. <laughs> hmm, isn't that the same bag I saw Mahiro with this morning? Uh, oh, did he figure it out? That's, uh-oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Seijo might have figured out that I had made lunch for my hero. R really? That's crazy. I purposely used different colors, but maybe that came back to bite me. Yeah, what a coincidence that is. He commented to me while smiling. Did he believe me? But still, if he saw that the food was exactly the same, he'd never believe me. What should I do? While I was worrying about that, Mahiro returned to his desk. Can I talk to you for a second? Hmm? What is it? I lowered my voice so that no one around us could hear. The food in our lunchbox is exactly the same. We better not both eat, eat it here. I see. Then we can just eat at different times. That works. By the way, there's another meeting about the bottle design later today. I've got to think of something before then. Hmm. I I had I had an idea and took it. Uh, excuse me. I had an idea and took it to Mr. Hyoga, but I just don't think it's going to be good enough. So they scheduled another meeting. Yeah, if I don't bring out something good. Our plan might not get the go-ahead. He bit his lip in frustration. Mahiro. It felt like we were running out of options. Was there anything I could do to help? What time is the meeting at? Five o'clock. So we could use the meeting room right before the meeting? Yeah, I think it's open then. Then let's try to figure something out before it's... Let's try to figure something out together up until the very end. Together, huh? For some reason, his reaction seemed a little disappointed. I suggested to have a little meeting to figure something out, but Mihiro seemed not at all together. Oh, I wasn't going. If you can't think of anything alone, sometimes it's better to have a second opinion. We're a team, right? We can do this. Why was I trying so hard for him? He simply listened in, in silence to me with a gloomy face. Maybe there was a reason he couldn't work with me? Am I not good enough? I surprised myself by asking that question. When he heard me, my hero sprung to life. No, that's not it. Good, then we'll get in the meeting room as soon as it opens up. Up until we could use the room, 
He just sat quietly at his computer, looked things up. <laughs> Looking things up. Well, look things up doesn't make sense. Okay. It was just one hour until the meeting when the room become, became available. How is it? Any good ideas? Maybe. I drew up a few, but... He handed over a sketchbook. That's an interesting color. It's a lot more vibrant than before. It wasn't bad, but he was playing it safe. It was simply lack the impact we needed. I just wasn't sure the CEO would be okay with it sh without showing him. What do you think of it? It's not bad or this isn't good enough. Hmm. I don't know. Like saying it's not bad is being nice. But does he want us to be nice right now or should we just be straight with him? I think we need to say, this, say this, is, this isn't good enough. Yeah, say this isn't good enough because we're part of the team too. All right. Got to say our opinion. This isn't good enough. It might have hurt his feelings, but I had to tell him what I really thought. I agree. You aren't... Oh. You aren't mad? Why would I be? I didn't say it in a nice way. No, I actually prefer that. I hate it when people try to sugarcoat things. So just tell me what you think. You don't have to hold anything back. Okay. You see... What I say could hurt his feelings, but I wanted to trust him at his word. I tried to tell him what I thought about a design as best as I could. It's a pretty design, and I think it would be great if it was targeted at girls. I could tell he went through a lot of trouble to research it. Yeah? But when it's lined up on the shelf, it won't draw anyone's attention. He listened on in silence. One of my artist friends told me something a long time ago. Paintings that are just beautiful won't sell. They have to inspire. I think I get it now. He meekly nodded in agreement. It just doesn't draw enough attention. The package is where it all starts. It doesn't matter how good what's inside may be. If they don't pick it up, they'll never know. That's why I think it's so important, but I'm sure the others see that too. I see. I can understand that, but I just can't think of what it is that makes a design stand out. I don't have any sense for that sort of thing. You and Kentaro, yeah. You and Kentaro might have it, but I don't. He lowers his eyes and makes a fist in frustration. I'm different from you guys. His voice sounded all the li like all the life had been drained from him. No, you are. Why would you say something like that? You only messed up one time. That's all. Besides, it was partially my idea, too. You can't take full responsibility. But it was you who picked the perfume. They were only good with your half. Don't say that. We're a team. We're on the project together. If they didn't see something in you, you wouldn't be here. Have more faith in yourself. I can't. I'm... He hung his head and started to look around as if bewildered. No, never mind. We don't have time for this anymore. I just got one... I've got just one more time... Ugh. I've just got one more chance. That's the spirit. Let's do this. If you need my help, I'll do anything for you. Anything? Do you really mean it? Y yeah. Then... Kiss me. <laughs> Was he being serious? If you gave me a kiss, I feel like I could try a lot harder. We're making something for couples. If I felt some love, maybe I could think of something. My eyes became enthralled by his gaze. Fine. I closed my eyes slowly. Thank you. 
I could feel his breath on my face grow strong stronger. The warmth came closer and closer. Mm -mm. His lips wrapped over mine, forcing out a moan. I love you so much. He whispered over and over again to me between passionate kisses. His words warmed my heart, but it felt like he was on the verge of tears for some reason. Mm, Mahiro, I love... Just before I was able to finish, his lips closed over mine. He had wanted to hear me say it so much. Why did he stop me at the last moment? Mm. Our lips slowly peeled apart. Thank you. Thank you for telling me how you feel. Mihiro, are you okay? I'm fine. I feel great after that kiss. Can I ask just one more thing? What? Could you say it one more time after I design something that makes the cut? Okay, I will. Good. Now let's get this ball rolling. He broke into his great smile. It might have been just for show, but he seemed just a tiny bit less depressed. If only he could knock out a good design, he would surely return to his old happy self. We thought of ideas together right up until the meeting started. I know it's just started, but I want to see what you've made for the design. The meeting got right to the heart of it, right off the bat. Sure. Mihiro replied nervously and started to hand out the design sheet. Hmm. You put some thought into these. Well, well. Judging from their responses, it seemed to be more fa to be favor favorable. <laughs> I prayed that it would be somehow be good enough for them to look green, for them to green light it. The meeting had started right away with Mihiro's revi revised. Div oh my gosh, the revised design. Just take your time. <laughs> what do you think? He nervously prodded some discussion. This is no good. It won't attract the customer's eyes at all. You should have made something that pulls them in right away. I understand. Mihiro sat down, looking utterly defeated. Moving on to the next point of discussion. The rest of the meeting went smooth and quickly, ending in less than an hour. That's the last of it, so let's call this meeting over. As the others left the room, my hero st stood dumbfounded in his chair. My hero, you're running out of time. Hmm? The CEO whispered something into his ear, making my hero tremble and leaving him looking pale. As usual, it was soon just the two of us left in the meeting room. Mihiro, it's fine. You did better than last time. I'm sure you'll do better the next. Don't say it like it's that easy. I'm not, but there's no time to mope about it. We've got to turn around and give it our best. I already know that. Come on, let's do it this time. Sorry, could you leave me alone for a while? But... I don't want to leave him alone. It looked like he would collapse at any moment. You don't understand. Mihiro muttered under his breath. You've got talent, confidence, and strength. I can't even compare to you. It's not like... It is like that. Just leave me alone. I don't want to feel worse than I already am. Mihiro. I don't want to see your face right now. Fine. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Get your face out of here. Right after they kissed. <laughs> I turned around and left without another word. Even back at the office, he sat silently at his computer, talking to no one. I'll see you tomorrow. See you later, Ken. It was way past normal hours and the others had gone home, but Mihiro showed no signs of stopping. You should get out of here, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I nodded to him, but leaving him alone here was the last thing I wanted to do. As night progressed, I left the office to grab a bite, but ended up coming back. Mihiro was sleeping with his face flat on the desk. 
He had probably stayed up late that night before working at it. Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I gently laid a blanket over his shoulders and went to my own desk. I couldn't just criticize his work and do nothing to help. There'd be something we missed in all the data that I could use to help. With that, I turned my focus to my computer. I had fallen asleep. And then... <laughs> what the hell? She wrote good luck on my rice with food? I woke to the sound of muffled laughter. Huh? Did I fall asleep? The blanket I had put over my hero was laying across my shoulders. Oh, you're up? Thanks for making this. He holds up the lunchbox I made for him. You're just getting into it now? Yeah, I guess I fell asleep. I was so hungry that it woke me up. That's when I remembered it. He chuckled when he looked back at it. Is it that funny? No? Well, yeah, it is. I mean, how many people would write good luck with their food? Then again, it doesn't surprise me. It's you after all. He failed to hold it in and burst into laughter. I guess you aren't the type to write love or make a heart either. But I like it. I'm a happy customer. Sorry I said those things to you earlier. Me too. I wasn't being considerate. No, you were right. This isn't the time to be moping around. I shouldn't have gotten angry at you. I'm the one who couldn't see it. I shouldn't have tried to do everything on my own. I was acting stubborn, and, but I can't help it. I'm all ready to ask for help now. He looked at me with a gentle smile. Is there something I can do? I would love for you to help me. Would you be willing? Yeah. We talked about the design late into the night and in the, into the following day. We worked up until daybreak before we took a quick break and returned to work. I was thinking about improving the marketing side a little bit today. My specialty wasn't in design, so helping where I could was better than doing nothing. Marketing, huh? Do you think I could help with that? Of course, or why? Why? Why do you <laughs> want to help? Uh, I think that's the obvious choice of, of course. Why? <laughs> of course, I'll be glad to have your help. Take a look at the surveys. It has co comments about everything, including the designs. This might help. It's just some surveys they collected from online data, though. The most important one to look at is what the stores say, though. It's in their best interest to know what the customers want. They'll be telling us what they heard from talking to all the people that come in. Straight from the field, huh? It might help to walk around stores, too. We should do that. He was quick to put a plan in action once he decided on something. After getting permission from the CEO, we headed out of the office. We went right up to the store employees to talk about what the latest trends were. We also hung around the store, watching to see how customers behaved while shopping. Even though the designs are so similar, the customer will pick up one or the, over the other. I see. Their ingredients are pretty much the same, too. The only difference is the packaging. Wait, no. The bottle is just as important. Yeah, people will usually take it out of the container and use it like that. Not only that, but sometimes people repackage it into smaller pot bottles. Hmm, I see. You put it on top of your dresser or desk if you use it a lot. If you think of it that way, it could even be considered decoration. He scribbles down notes frantically on his notepad. I think I got this now. Want to take a look at some other places? He takes my hand and led me to the next door, smiling all the way. Sure. It would work out this time. I was sure of it. We could completely change the design and make separate ones for men and women. Back in the office, Mihiro stretched away, or sketched away, 
in his book with new ideas. He looked surprisingly handsome when he was working like this. Why in the world was I thinking about this now? <laughs> I couldn't help but stare at him. Huh? What? He noticed my gaze and looked towards me. Nothing, or I've never seen this side of you. I think it's now is the time for, for her to tell him how she feels. I think we should say I've never seen this side of you. Yeah, she's fallen for him. I've never seen this side of you. You're so focused. You like it? I didn't want to admit it, but he was right. Really? You do? His face turned red, too. Had he said it only to tease me? Great. Now I'm so happy that I can't concentrate. He muttered to himself. I remember saying something like I'd make you fall in love with me. But it looks like I'm the one falling for you. He smiled at me. I've got this. I'll succeed for sure this time. He focused back onto his sketchbook and con continued to draw more designs. I thought of all of these designs. What do you think? Any good ones? He flipped the sketchbook over to show me. Yeah, these are great. They're much better than before. I think so too. I think I was afraid. Hmm? I knew I had to step out of my comfort zone, but I always went back to playing it safe. But this is my last chance. I can't fail now. He wordly bit his lip. What do you mean by last chance? Hmm? No, it's nothing. Okay. I nodded, unsure what he meant. If only he had known all the pressure he was under at that time. If only we had known. What does that mean? We'll, we'll find out next time. Yep, I guess we'll find out next time. Well, if you liked the video, uh, you know, comment and say, Hey, guess what? I liked the video. <laughs> yep, do the usual. Yep, thanks. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me save the game, and then we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.